One of my most exciting days was uh, December 17th, 1974. I was an apprentice, and I, a few days prior to that, I equaled Sandy Hawley's record for a number of wins in a year of 515. Sandy had set the record in 1973, uh, which was Shoemaker's record of 485 that stood for 25 years. So Sandy wins 515 in, in 73, and I was uh, behind the winner's circle when he walked into the winner's circle that day, and I've got, as you can tell, I'm not too tall, so I want to get the picture, because I, I, I know that I just witnessed history in the making. So I got my hands on shoulders of friends of mine, and I'm leaping up in the air, trying to get, trying to time it so that I'm up in the air, so when the photographer snaps, snaps a picture, I'm going to be in the photo, right? Yeah. It didn't work out. It just, I didn't get in the air in time. And so, um, 12 months later, uh, I had tied Sandy's uh, record, uh, I want to say on like December 14th or something like that. I went a few days without winning a race, which at the time was a big slump for me. And so on December 17th, my brother Greg and I, Greg was riding a horse called Boston Ego, which was kind of ironic because we're both from Boston. And my dad had flown down from Boston to, to watch the, the races. And Greg and I went seven-eighths of a mile, head and head the whole way. And I was on a horse called Oh My Love. And I ended up beating Greg by a head. Uh, and and uh, my dad said that he didn't know who to, who to cheer for. <laughs> he didn't want to show an allegiance one way or the other. Mm -hmm. But obviously he was thrilled to have been there uh, to witness that. And that's, that's one of the most exciting things that, that have happened to me now.